Hello, I'm Justin, and today I thought I'd do another one of my unboxings, and that's going to be of a Sprocket Rocket. It's a analog um, camera, so it's unusual for me because really I'm I love reviewing and looking at digital stuff, especially digital cameras. But this kind of got my attention. Um, you can see the the box is quite a nice packaging that they've put it in, and the the trick about it is, of course, that when you you take your photos, you're going to end up with the little sprocket marks along the edges, which I thought was quite neat. Anyway, so um, first of all we'll do an unboxing and then we'll have a look and I've got some film and we'll see if we can get some pictures and have a look and see what they look like. So I believe you open it here. And the first thing I've got is <clears throat> I've got a rather nice rubbery plasticky type uh, lens cap with spro sprocket rocket on it. Uh, now let's see if we can peel the rest of this open. The box is quite nice, so I don't really want to damage it too much. So it sort of all comes together. So that's the, the camera. And we'll get all the bits out of it. Well, that's bad, I'll put that down on the side there. Take that away, take that away over there. Right, it comes with a uh, a nice sort of brochure type thing. Shows you uh, various other types of bits and pieces you can get. I think there's another kind of camera model anyway, that one. Uh, we've then got a very nice booklet that it comes with. And the booklet is sort of laid out in a nice sort of fashion where it shows you various images with the sprocket type effect, which I think is quite neat. So it's nice that it comes with a, a fairly decent sized booklet, and I suppose it gives you a little bit of, about the story of it, and it's got pictures and, and various other things in it. So yeah, the, it's a nice nice added thing to have a, a, the booklet. Uh, then we've got some sort of documentation, which I think is a, basically it's a manual to show you how to set your camera up. And we've got another sort of brochure again on on the, the camera and the effect, as you can see with the sprocket effect there of what it does. So let's have a look at the actual camera. I see it's got a... Ah, yeah, this unscrews at the bottom, so that's your tripod mount. So I'll just put that over there. So as you can see, it's fairly, it's plasticky, but it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, certainly looks quite nice. You've got your, your film winding things here, and of course your uh, hot shoe, cold shoe, for putting on a flash, I suppose, if you want to. Um, you've got a few adjustments here, like I suppose it, aperture and, and, and exposure and things. And of course the lens cap fits quite nicely over the front like that. Um, next we'll have to look at and see how you open this. I think you, oh yeah, you sort of pull the two apart like so, and it's got that in the in there. And that's basically a little bit of a thing. This frame removed, if you want, yeah, see if you remove this frame, you, you should be able to get your, um, uh, your sprocket effect. Otherwise it will just take a normal picture. So next, um, we'll get some film here, and this is kind of a rarity because I haven't actually used a, uh, a still camera, film camera for a very long time. In fact, I, it's been many years, so it would be interesting to see if I can even figure out how to load the bastard. Um, looks like we go here, yeah, standard procedure, you pull that little thing out, push that in. Take your excess film, and there's a little slot there, and I think you just wind it. So now I've got it started, I'll put the back on, otherwise I'll stuff up all the film. Uh, we've got the film now in the camera, and I'll wind it like so, and I believe if you do that like that, I think I've just taken a picture. Uh, this is the Sprocket Rocket camera. Anyway, um, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.